All right, so last week I went to Yosemite National Park in California, really quick in and out weekend trip, and I got everything that I needed for the three days and all my photo gear and everything in this 25 liter bag. So I'm gonna show you all what's inside of it and how I packed. But before I get into the bag, I wanna show you guys what I had on me when I was traveling so that it makes a little more sense about what I had in the bag. So really just clothes and some other stuff, um, dry fit shirt, wool socks, some skate pants that are also pretty comfy for traveling, a Nike running pullover, good warm kind of mid-layer, a Patagonia Nano Puff. This is another good warm kind of outer-ish layer, and then a Patagonia torrent shell that I use as my shell. It was supposed to rain, and it definitely did rain in California, so I was very glad to have that. So let's clear this stuff out of the way real quick. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned hat. Just a white Nike hat, very thin. Keeps the sun off my face. I also brought my Sony XM3 headphones. These are great travel headphones and I would not go anywhere without them, even if they take a bit of space. But uh, I couldn't put them in the bag because they're kind of bulky, but they do just fan my neck when I'm traveling. And then my crossbody bag, super simple. A uh, mask in the front, just my keys in this pouch. And then in the main compartment, I have a passport wallet and a regular wallet, and then this, I just keep driver's license, two credit cards, metro card. All right. First things first, this 48 ounce water bottle. I didn't really know how much water I need to bring while hiking, so I looked it up, and it's way more than I thought. Well, last time I really hiked, I think, I was in the Grand Canyon, so we brought a shit ton of water, and that made sense, because it was like 100 degrees. But the recommended water amount was more than I thought, so I bought a water bottle to make sure that I did not get dehydrated on the trail. And then on the other side pouch here, I have my Nintendo Switch. Like I said, I was in and out pretty quick, so I really only played this uh, on the plane, but I definitely needed it then, and I played a ton of Metroid Dread. Very glad to have it. And then, outer pocket, have, of course, the bag of Jasmine tea. Keep at least one on me, just in case. And then this is the Peak Design Medium Rain Shell. I put this over my Sony while I was taking photos and videos and it worked flawlessly. Definitely worth the money to have some reliable protection for your camera. Top compartment, we have a Rory Parker soft shell glasses case. Uh, so in here I just have my regular glasses and then my sunglasses. I didn't really need either of them that often, but I like to see, so it's always good to have. Now we get into the meat of it. Oh, and I should have mentioned this earlier, but this is a 25 liter Patagonia black hole backpack. All right, more Patagonia shelling. We got one of these black hole three liter bags. And in here I have all my charging stuff. First thing I have in here is this Aki USB hub. Pretty much just allows me to charge all my devices at the same time. The battery charger for my Sony. Charge two batteries at once and then plugs into this. And then the rest in here is just cables. USB-C to lightning, uh, USB to micro USB. USB-A to C cable, audio splitter, and then a little bag of adapters, and a backup pair of headphones, just in case I'm really desperate. So all this, just make sure that my devices stay charged and I have what I need. And then another Patagonia 3 liter black hole bag. This one I just use for more toiletries and stuff. Uh, Dr. Bronner soap, smells good, super concentrated. Does everything, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not usually a big two-in-one kind of guy, but when I'm on the go, makes sense toothbrush, and then a very tiny first aid kit that I put together with some band-aids, some gauze, uh, some cleaning pads, and then a sole blanket. And next up, we have the camera bag. I also want to mention that when I was traveling, I just had my camera, that camera, in my hand uh, so that it didn't take up room in the backpack, and then when I was going through TSA and everything, I just put it right into the bin instead of having to dig it out of my bag. So, yellow ape case. I have never realized until just now that I can fold this like this. This is much easier to access, actually. Okay. So this is just a windscreen for the microphone. Uh, it was pretty important on the hike. Three extra batteries for my Sony. Portable charger, pretty simple. Two USB-A ports, but I can charge my camera batteries as well as any of my other devices with this, so. Definitely clutch to have. Got a ND filter in here that I will probably sell because I bought this lens used. The lens itself is just a little bit dented, so this circular ND filter doesn't quite fit on it. <laughs> I don't know how I got it to work a couple months ago, but I did. But this time around, I absolutely could not get this filter on there. So I don't know if I'm just gonna sell this or just hold on to it or what, but it's not compatible with my camera right now. And in the bottom here, we got 
two SD card holders, and then over here we have my new baby. This is the Canon Canonet QL17 G3. So pretty much the whole reason I bought a film camera is because I've been interested in it, and I also wanted to shoot film in Yosemite while I was traveling. Uh, and I did do that. I shot a roll of Portra 400. So that's being developed right now. I'm excited to get that back on Tuesday. I haven't talked too much about this thing, but I've really enjoyed using it. It's the perfect kind of street camera that I was looking for because I found myself not wanting to go take photos as much with the Sony sometimes on the street because it's so much bigger than this. But this, put on my wrist or put in my pocket or something and I'm good to go. And I've really been enjoying shooting film as well. And then nothing in here right now, but I had an extra roll of film that I was carrying just in case I wanted to shoot another. Then I have a big microfiber cloth. This was super clutch because like I said, it was raining. So keeping my lenses nice and clean was very important. And this thing did its job. So in this little bag, I have just a little travel walk. I know this isn't super protective, but it is just a little something to deter any theft when I'm in the hostel. Generally, you shouldn't trust travel walks for anything else. <laughs> I've also got a pair of Nike running gloves that I've had for quite a long time. My hands get really cold really easily, so one of the best things I can do, if I can at least, is to have these on and then have them in my pockets. That'll usually keep my hands warm for a pretty good while. Uh, but I didn't end up needing them that much, but definitely want to have them. This is a quick dry towel that I bought from REI. I didn't know if the hostel was gonna have towels, and I also wanted a nice big towel to dry off my camera or anything else in case it really started pouring. Thankfully that didn't happen. I didn't really need to use this and the hostel had towels. So this didn't really do too much work for me, but it's good to have. Closing it out. All right, so here I have a tripod setup that I took inspiration from Craig Adams. So I got these carbon fiber tripod legs and a few years ago, the concept of just buying just tripod legs blew my mind. I really could not comprehend why you do that. But now I get it. Um, I bought these carbon fiber tripod legs because they're really light, easy to use. You just screw, unscrew. And on top of here, I have a Joby 3K ball head. Like I said, I got this idea from Craig Adams uh, because pretty much his whole thing was that when you're shooting these hiking videos, you're not really moving the camera. So a still head works just fine. And this one is very light, very simple. And from my experiences while using it, it's not everything that I needed to. And then I think the rest is really just clothes. Let's see. So these are some REI Gore-Tex rain pants. Again, bought these just a few weeks ago because I thought it might rain. And like I said, it did. These were awesome. They kept my legs completely dry. I feel like my rain jacket let in a little bit of water after a while, but I was hiking for over six hours, about half of that in the rain. And these did not let any water in. It was great. And then I didn't really need that much clothing for the weekend. So two pairs of underwear. Then I got one white Nike kind of dry fit long sleeve, a pair of Adidas sweatpants, two pairs of wool socks, one a bit lighter and one a bit thicker in case it was super cold. Got a pair of really thin athletic shorts. These were just to sleep in. And then a bit thicker of a Nike long sleeve. And you might realize that everything here is a, either a synthetic material or wool. And that was definitely intentional because I knew I could very well be getting wet or sweaty while hiking and it ended up being both of those things. So I'm really glad that I didn't have a lot of cotton on me. Otherwise I would have been pretty damp and cold. And then the last thing that I have in here is my Kindle Paperwhite. This thing, as you can see, is ridiculously tiny, super easy to bring along. Just another good piece of entertainment to have uh, in case I didn't want to play on my phone or play video games. And that is everything that I brought with me uh, for this hiking trip. I can 100% say that I was super happy with how all my gear worked out. I think the MVP, is really this thing though. This Peak Design rain shell, this totally saved me. Like I said, I was hiking for around six hours, three of that in the rain and snow. Without this, I would not have gotten anything. But because I had it, I was able to get all the video that I wanted, a bunch of regular shots, and keep my camera safe in the process. So shout out to Peak Design, making good stuff over there. But that's it, that's everything that I brought with me on my three day trip to California, just real quick in and out. I used everything that I brought. So to me, that's a good indicator of doing a good job packing. It was a super fun trip and I got a lot of cool videos and photos out of it, but I am a little bit bummed that I don't have anything on the horizon now. But there'll be more adventures for me in 2022 and however I pack and wherever I go, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one real soon.